Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jessie Ray. I will be guiding you through um, some restorative air yoga today. Today we're gonna focus on coming into a straddle back, so how to get into it, um, a few benefits of the pose, and how to get out. I hope you enjoy, thank you so much. So we're gonna begin on our knees with the fabric behind us. You can go ahead, reach up, grab a hold of the fabric, and you're gonna place it just behind you above your butt. So it should be right across the sacrum bone. Make sure your thumbs are inside and your fingers are outside the fabric. Now, not only are we pushing down the fabric, but you're also pulling the fabric in towards your body, so you're pretty strong here, okay? We're gonna step one foot up, it's up to you which one. Holding onto the fabric, drawing the lower belly in, we're gonna shift our weight back, place the other foot, and begin to lean back. Once you get here, go ahead and slide your arms up, okay? From here, you can make any adjustments. Make sure the fabric is right across the boniest part of the hips and not too high on the body. From here, you're just going to slide your hands down, allowing your shoulders to come all the way down towards the mat. So this is the first option of the pose. You could definitely stay here and just kind of get used to this. This is a nice traction for the lower body, okay? To get into full straddle back from here, both hands are holding onto the fabric, and you're just going to pull both knees in and take the legs out to a straddle position, okay? And you want to work on rotating the hips nice and open, and then remaining here. So you're relaxing the pelvis, allowing the weight of the pelvis to drop down into the hammock, okay? And again, it's opening up any compression here in the lower back. So this is your first option, okay? If you'd like to move on from here, you're gonna bring the feet around the fabric and you can hook your feet, okay? Allowing your knees just to display out. Try not to squeeze your knees together. It's gonna to get a little bit more painful here across the hips. So just allow the knees to fall out, drop the pelvis, Let's go ahead and breathe for five. Four. For three. Two. And one. Okay, to go ahead, get out. You're gonna release those legs. Both hands in the fabric just for a little bit of stability. You're gonna bend your knees, plant those feet. So we're just kind of backtracking here. Now coming up, we do wanna go nice and easy. So first thing we're gonna do is contract the abs. So you're pulling the belly in, pull the rib cage in, chin into your chest. We're gonna reach up, grabbing all the fabric. Rotate the elbow creases towards your face. Elbows are going to hug in. Now keeping everything engaged, we're going to slowly begin to rise up. And coming into a seated pose. Okay. From here, I do always like to do a little counter stretch. So you can extend both legs out in front. Coming for Paschimottanasana, allowing your hands to slide down the fabric until the wrists come together. Pushing the fabric forward, allowing your head to bow forward and holding for five. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, slowly rise up. You can definitely hold straddle back for as long as you feel is comfortable for you. Um, I hope you found this video enjoyable and educational. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.